Passive income is a term that has gained significant attention in the recent years. The idea of generating income without actively working for it is incredibly appealing to a lot of people. So for today's video, I want to talk about five different sources of passive income that I have created and you can create too. Before we get into the first source of passive income, I want to define what passive income is to me. Passive income is income you're generating without doing absolutely anything. For me, it's income that I make without working on it or worrying about it at all. A lot of people think of things like creating a YouTube channel or selling a product on Amazon as passive income. As someone who does both of those things, I can tell you it's the furthest thing from passive income. The passive income I earn is generated regardless of any other event that occurs. It requires no work or effort at all. I believe that that is truly passive income. The first passive income source I have is a high yield savings account. A high yield savings account is no different than any other savings account besides the fact that it pays you a much higher interest rate. Many of the large banks today pay very, very small interest rates that most people just ignore. Many smaller banks and especially online banks offer significantly higher interest rates. Oftentimes it depends on the state of the economy, but right now you can find savings accounts that will pay you over 4% interest. All that it requires is you move your savings account to their bank. So if you have $10,000 in a savings account, that's over $400 a year that you'll be making. And the best part is, all you have to do is move your savings account to one of these banks. The great thing about this method of passive income is there is literally zero risk. As long as you're banking with a trustworthy and reliable bank, you don't have to worry about anything. They don't lock up your money and your money won't lose value like a stock. I think that having a high yield savings account is something that everyone should do because you're missing out on basically free money. A second method of passive income that I have is staking cryptocurrency. If you're like me and you believe in cryptocurrency in the long run and you're holding different coins, you can stake them and make money off of them. By simply staking your cryptocurrency, you can earn more cryptocurrency. Essentially, when you stake your cryptocurrency, you're locking it up for a set period of time to help with the operation of the blockchain. And in return, they pay you out. However, there are some risks that come with this method of passive income. Cryptocurrency in general is a very new thing and there's a lot of uncharted territories. As we've seen in the news recently, things can go wrong very quickly, so you have to be careful with what you're doing with your money. Additionally, as I mentioned earlier, you are locking up your cryptocurrency for a set period of time in which you won't be able to access it. But if you're just holding your coins in a bear market like we have right now, it's worth it to check out different staking options and earn more cryptocurrency on top of what you already own. I highly recommend you do significant research to reduce your risk as much as possible if you're planning to try this out. Another method of passive income that I truly love is a high rewards credit card. You do some research and find a credit card that will pay you out the best rewards based on what you spend and where you spend it. From there, you just take your existing expenses and move them onto this credit card. Take any bills, subscriptions, or reoccurring purchases and put them on the credit card. As a result, the credit card company will pay you a percentage back. Oftentimes, this can be redeemed directly for cash back or gift cards or airline miles. You're earning cash back on purchases that you are already making. However, there is one key with this method of passive income. You must avoid credit card debt at all costs. Credit card debt is one of the worst types of debt you can have and it's very hard to get out of. So if you're interested in trying this method of passive income, be sure not to spend more than what you already would, and be sure to pay off your credit card in full every single month. I think this is a great method of truly passive income because all you're doing is switching the piece of plastic you use at the grocery store. As a result, you can get anywhere from one to even 5% back on some purchases that you make. After a long enough period of time, you continue to rack up cash back that you can cash out into your bank account. But as I mentioned before, be very careful with credit cards, do your research, and don't get into credit card debt no matter what. Be sure to spend plenty of time researching different credit cards so that you can maximize your cash back based on what you're spending on. A fourth method of passive income that I have is selling designs online. I will warn you in advance, this one does require some initial setup and work. I use the website Redbubble in which artists can upload their artwork and sell it on a multitude of different products to customers. It's very simple, you just upload your design, apply it to different products, and then it's for sale for the world to buy. Three or four years ago, I created about 50 designs that were relevant to the college I was attending at the time. There are very specific designs that people at my school would appreciate or want. 
I spent a couple weeks making all these designs and uploading them onto Redbubble. After those couple weeks, I never touched it again. And now it generates me over $500 a year. I never have to check on it, edit anything, or do any work for it. Redbubble completely takes care of everything and requires no work from me. Imagine if I took the time to upload hundreds if not thousands of designs, I could be generating a ton of passive income. The great thing about this method of passive income is it's risk free. Redbubble is a free site to use and you can upload as many designs as you want without paying a dime. While this method of passive income does require some artistic skill or graphic design skills, there are many tools out there such as Canva that allow beginners to create awesome designs with very minimal knowledge. If you have some free time in your life and you're looking to make some extra income, I highly suggest you try this. If you're gonna do this, I suggest you create designs around communities you're a part of or very specific interests you have. You will know what people in these communities or with these interests want and be able to create awesome designs that they'll love. The great part about this is that there's unlimited potential. The fifth way I generate completely passive income is through stock dividends. This is a very common method of generating passive income because again, it's so easy. All you have to do is simply hold the stock and the dividend will be paid to you. If you're going to do this, again, I highly suggest you do a ton of research. Find stocks that have been around for a very long time and have proven themselves or companies that you truly believe in. I also suggest that you reinvest the dividends. What this means is that when the dividend is paid out, it buys more of that same stock. This allows your money to compound over time and earn even more. Dividends and stocks are one of the great ways to build significant wealth. Once you hold a ton of the stock and continue to build your portfolio, you can start to take the dividends as cash and use it for living expenses and other purchases. So with that being said, those are five sources of passive income that I personally have that you can set up too. Each one of them once set up requires zero work and zero attention. It's money that you can rely on and bring in every single year without worrying. While it's very hard to fund your entire life off of passive income, I still think that setting up as many streams as possible is a great way to start building wealth. Let me know if you plan to try any of these passive income methods. I'll leave some links in the description to help you get started. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it brought you some value and I hope that you're able to start making some passive income.